Such videocy. Hey everybody, welcome to Videocy. It's Maddie. Dollar. Today we're once again taking a look at the May 2016 issue of Game Informer magazine. Last week we took the Final Fantasy quiz. This week we are looking at this month's top 10, which features Final Fantasy villains. And last time we learned, I can build an airship. He's grown. All right. Do you want me to read from ten to one or from one to ten? Uh, ten to one. All right. Number ten, Safer from Final Fantasy VIII. Safer is more than just a parallel and, ri parallel and rival for Squall. He's also a would-be hero undone by bad choices as opposed to an evil caricature, which gives him an all-too-human quality that's rare for video game characters. Never played Final Fantasy VIII to any extent. So. Yeah, I can't right. really play it. Here's one I've played a lot. Chaos, Final Fantasy IX. Ah, Final... Oh my god, it's Final Fantasy IX! You had one job! <laughs> Number nine, Chaos... From the original Final Fantasy, which I maintain to this day is not Final Fantasy 1. Because at the time it was made, there was no series, so it was logically just Final Fantasy. After that, the numbers come into play. But, semant yeah. mm. semantics aside, from the original Final Fantasy, we have Chaos. The first villain of the series might look like a generic demon. However, Chaos has more going for him than just being first in line, as the time loop ramifications attached to his story add an interesting twist to what would otherwise be a pretty ho-hum villain. Of course, Chaos makes his first appearance in Final Fantasy as the Dark Knight Garland. Guess what he also has? A bird belly button. Who has captured the, uh, <laughs> has captured the princess. And wants you to feed him, of course, he's, you know, sent back through time and the four fiends and the time loop and all that. But, uh, I remember, of course, the original Final Fantasy, one of my all-time favorite games. The game that made me into role-playing games, into Final Fantasy. I still love it to this day, even though the story's not quite... Up to par with you know the later games in the series, even though the char characters aren't as well defined. I still think it's a fantastic game, and I love playing through it. You and I just played through it together, what last summer? Yeah, and guess what we did? And your sister and I. I'm, we beat Rome. It's true, and your sister and I are. Uh, we put it on pause, but we're still planning to finish our Final Fantasy playthrough on the podcast we do, the Lexicon, which you can hear over at uh, lexiconvo.wordpress.com and on iTunes. Uh, link down in the description, and maybe somewhere on the screen, like right about here. Click on Dylan's Brony right here to go to the lexicon. You can check out our episode of Brony Justice, where we fantasize about teaming up with Kanye West to go after Brony haters. Just all kinds of wackiness like that. But anyway, getting back to uh, Final Fantasy, I remember yes, with, the with the original Final Fantasy, there was a fold-out that came with it with the instructions and whatnot, and it showed every monster in the game, War Mech included. And it had like their stats, what they were weak against, what kind of attacks they did and all that. And, but for Chaos, it just had his silhouette, and he was just in shadow. You couldn't see him, so you just got to see his outline, so you just had to imagine it, and it just looked so epic. Like, oh, I can't wait to face him. I love Chaos. I definitely put him on the list. You ready to go on? Mm -hmm. uh, number eight is not an actual, not a real boss, certainly not a final boss. Uh, he comes with some it's a bullet. I know, but I think a lot of these are going to be... Final bosses or major bosses. This one comes from Final Fantasy VI, which may or may not be my favorite Final Fantasy. It's really tough to say between six and seven. Just depends on the mood I'm in, or maybe which one I played more recently. I like five. Not maybe not the best, but I like the characters. Don't, like there aren't that many, but I like Final Fantasy V because you can choose your class. But Final Fantasy VI has an opera. Okay, anyway. Undertale has an opera. Yeah, which I think is a tribute to Final Fantasy VI, considering it uses the music from the opera. Okay, anyway, Ultros, Final Fantasy VI, the purple di uh, purple octopus. <laughs> I promise I haven't been drinking. Ew, just look at him. Like Gilgamesh, Ultros is a recurring boss who also functions as comedic relief and is generally good at providing a laugh, even if he's a bit grody. Ew, grody. That's from the 80s, man. That's from before you were even conceived. That's probably from before I was even having sexual thoughts. See, I had to have sexual thoughts to be interested in sex, to have sex with your mother to conceive. Never mind. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I took it there. You have a white on the side of your bed. Are you calling me old? No. I'm just saying you have white that. Dylan. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father, did he? <laughs> he told me you killed him! No. I am your father. No! <laughs> Why did we make that joke? I don't know. Anyway, Ultros from Final Fantasy. Yeah, the purple octopus. 
I I wouldn't put him on my list of favorite villains, but he's cool. One of my favorite Final Fantasies. I really I like him. I like later on after the fall of the world when the when the guy finally builds the the uh, the casino, the Coliseum, and he's just working at the Coliseum. I I like his friend Pumba. Pumba. It, it's Pumba, right? No, it's, it's like, <laughs> like, what? Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> I know it starts with like a P. You know, you're thinking of Fumbaba, the enemy who comes to Mobliz once terrors there with the kids. Oh yeah. It's it's it's, it's, it's Chupon. I thought it, I thought it was Pumba. It's Chupon. <laughs> no, Pumba is from the Lion yeah, King. Yeah, Timon and Pumba or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, back to Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy Seven. Number seven on the list of Final Fantasy villains. Speaking of Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. From speaking of Final Fantasy V, your favorite in the series. Gilgamesh is a fan. Not my favorite. Maybe oh, my favorite. I don't know. Gilgamesh is a fan favorite, appearing several times throughout the series. The best version has to be the comedic one in Final Fantasy V, who not only has an amusing dialogue, but is eventually willing to sacrifice himself for the good of the party after having a change of heart. Mm -hmm. I don't remember Gilgamesh that much. I don't either. But it's been a while since we played Final Fantasy V. And that's the only time I played through the whole game, is when you and I played it a few years ago. My dad and I played through it a little bit, but we didn't make it all the way through. I love any of the Final Fantasy you can play two players, though. I will say that. Four, five, and six, I love that you can play two players in them. Or at least the uh, PlayStation version of four, five, and six. I think you can play two players in the Super Nintendo version of six, too. Yeah, you had to, because I'm sure that's what... Well, maybe not. Maybe Dad and I played on the PlayStation. Anyway. Memories. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Number six from Final Fantasy IV. Hey, look, the last few villains went six, five, four, 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 five, six, depending on which way you're going. But we're going, we're counting down. So, Golbez from Final Fantasy IV. Golbez is a contradiction. Wait, wait, wait. I have. Can I at least wait, wait. read? It? Don't interrupt me in the middle of the description. Let me okay. read the description. Then. Equal parts monstrous terror and sympathetic human. It's eventually revealed that he's been under the control of Final Fantasy IV. Final Fantasy IV's true villain, Zemus. And his transformation into someone seeking a, to atone for his sins makes him a riveting character. He's also, um, he's, what's his name's brother? He's Cecil's brother, right? Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, spoilers, isn't he, like, Cecil's brother or something? Yeah, pretty sure he is. At least half-brother. <laughs> Alright, continuing on our list. From Final Fantasy IV, we go to one of the Final Fantasies that n neither you nor I have played. Final Fantasy XIII-2, and the villain is Caius. As uh, light, as, has purple hair. as lightning's purple-eyed rival, also has purple eyes. Caius is a time-hopping foe who stops at nothing to achieve his goal, bringing about the apocalypse. However, when you learn why he wants to end existence, your inability to defeat him seems a little less tragic. Okay, so sounds he, epic. So he's the doctor that turned evil because like emo and stuff. I don't know. Sounds epic. <laughs> He's the doctor that turned evil because emo. All right, continuing on through Final Fantasies that neither of us have played. Number four is Judge Gabrant from Final Fantasy XII. Gabrant is torn between his sense of duty and his morality, which makes him one of the most compelling characters in Final Fantasy XII. His relationship with his brother Bosch is also a captivating story and one that ends beautifully. Hey, we learned on our, on our last episode when we did the quiz that Sid is apparently a villain in Final Fantasy XII, so why isn't he on this list? Well, he could be. Technically, we haven't gone through the list, but I've already read the list. He's not on it. Yeah, I, I, I've looked at number three. All right, I got no comment on this. I've never played number 12. It it sounds interesting and like a good villain, but I got nothing to add. I I owned all the way up through Final Fantasy X, even though I never really found the time to play 8, 9, or 10, and I've since gotten rid of them. But, um... I haven't owned a Final Fantasy since then. This is what you're tuning in for, folks. <laughs> Alright, uh, number three from Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy X. An entire world seen. Oh, I forgot to read who it was. Sin from Final Fantasy X. I've seen a video from it and I've heard of Sin. It looks like a giant whale bird thing. Yeah, I've, like, heard of Sin. There's, like, some organization Christian thing that's trying to summon him. I don't really All right, know. an entire world lives in constant fear of Sin, and it's not hard to see why. The beast is essentially an indestructible and deadly flying whale. That terrifying outer shell is bad enough, 
but seeing what lies at Sin's heart adds a new layer to this foe. Sounds sort of like uh, Lavos from Chrono Trigger. You got the outer shell and then something inside. And then... Uh, and then something else inside that, too? Yeah, that's basically the size of you. Dude, I don't care. I like Lavos. I think he's an awesome... It's like you think he's the size of, like, a meteor, but then you find out he's not the size of you. I know. I think that makes it even, even more... Uh, Scary, you know, like, oh my god, it's not like this giant monster, it's almost humanoid, and it still wants to destroy us. Oh yeah, but that's Chrono Trigger, that's, that's another video, this is Final Fantasy. Number two, would have been my pick for number one, personally. Sephiroth! Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII, probably my all-time favorite Final Fantasy villain, probably my all-time favorite video game villain. Uh, Lalo's would probably be second, in all honesty. Uh, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII, of course. Their write-up says, Okay, yes, Sephiroth tries a bit too hard to impress everyone with his aloofness. However, his origin as a genetic experiment makes him a sympathetic villain, even if he does kill one of Final Fantasy's most beloved characters. Also, his katana is badass. I don't the Mass it. Moon. You think it's the Mass Moon? Did they actually say that in the it, game? It's canon. His sword is the Mass Moon. Okay. I, I think Sephiroth's a badass. I love the way he fucks with Cloud throughout the whole game, and then Cloud finally gets his, gives him his comeuppance with that Omni Slash at the end. Yeah, and I pushed a sudden Omni Slash to him. Yeah, we, uh, when yeah. we played. I beat his profile once. When, like, his past profile once, and it counterattacked! Yeah, we actually, uh, we have some footage from our most recent playthrough of Final Fantasy VII that we're probably gonna throw up. All right, later on down the road. <laughs> yeah, that's thanks for taking it there. Later on down the road, we're gonna do a full playthrough of the game, but we've got some bonus cuts for y'all coming up from Final Fantasy VII, and uh, one of them involves Sephiroth. And I gotta say, the first time I played through Final Fantasy VII back in '97, '98, when it first came out, I thought Sephiroth was tough. I mean, I beat him in one try, but it it took a lot. You know, it took a lot of you know restoring my energy, bringing characters back to life, a long fight. A lot Same of, with me. A lot of solar flares. A lot of oh, finally got him. And you and I played through him. Not so tough. We no, no, no. No spoilers. Just saying, just saying, just saying, just saying, just saying, not as tough as I remember. All right, anyway, now we have reached number one, the ultimate spot on the list, the greatest Final Fantasy villain of all time, according to Game Informer magazine. Number one, you know him, you love him, or at least love to hate him, Kefka Kef. from Final Fantasy VI. He actually has, like, a reference in Final Fantasy 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Can I read the write-up before we give our views? Mm -hmm. All right, Kepka from Final Fantasy VI. Right, from Final Fantasy VI. The most monstrous villain from Final Fantasy VI is memorable not only for his cruelty and deadly streak of nihilism, but also for bringing about the end of the freaking world. In a series filled with colorful villains, none of them come close to dethroning this demented clown. I'm sorry, I think I'd put Sephiroth above him. I love Final Fantasy VI, and I, you know, I think Kefka's a good villain, but I'd say I'll take Sephiroth. Doesn't Kefka even have, like, a little, like, like, doesn't, uh, like, something similar to him up in Super Mario RPG? Coolex. He kind of looks like him. Like, like, he's like an angel god guy. Alright. So any other thoughts on any, any villains you would put on this list? Mm. I think Warmeck that you mentioned earlier, I think he, he, you know, I'm not saying he belongs in top 10, but he's definitely a memorable Final Fantasy villain. But the question is, is this about villains that are, like, canon? If they're in the game, they're canon. Like, what you that you actually about? have to encounter. No, it just says villains. So I'm saying, I, I think Warmeck deserves a mention. What else comes to your mind? Anything? Well, the big, the super villains in Final Fantasy VII, Ruby and Emerald. I think, I think they deserve a mention. For me, I'd personally. Chupon, you mentioned Chupon already. For me, Final I'd, Fantasy VI. I'd personally only put ones that you have to encounter because you don't have to encounter like Emerald or Ruby. I like the uh, okay Final Fantasy One. I, I like the four themes a lot. Carrie Lich, Tiamat, and um, what's the water one? What's the water fiend's name? Mm hmm. You really let me down like that? I'm thinking. The freaking octopus guy. You're gonna make me look it up. Are you thinking about your favorite villains? Or are you thinking about the octopus guy? 
Kraken. Let's see what it is. See, I didn't even have to look it up. I just started typing it in. Yeah, I can't think. I mean, I clearly will play number 10, 5, 4, and 3. Well, only in your personal list, just because yeah. you're not familiar with those villains at all. But that's what I'm saying. Is there just anybody you could, like I said, I would say the four fiends from Final Fantasy belong on there. But that would fall up for slot. I would have cheated. I would have put them all as one. They're like they're like the Beatles. They're like a group. They're better together than separate. Not although imagine fight them separately. <laughs> although although John Lennon did do some great, and Paul McCartney did too, and you know so so did George them. Harrison. I mean, why do you fight them separately then? I get it, but if I'm going to make a top ten and I want to include the four fiends, I won't take the time to fill four spots with them. I'll just put them all as one, because they do sort of interconnect. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. We hope that you enjoyed it as well as all the other videos that we bring to you on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and whatever other days we feel like dropping a little bitty on your head, uh, including tomorrow when we might drop a little more bonus Final Fantasy on you. As always, we don't have to tell you guys how to YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all other good stuff. Uh, let us know your thoughts on Final Fantasy Villains down there in the comment section. Ones you like, ones you don't like, who you think should have been on this list that wasn't, who shouldn't have been on this list that was, any of that sort of stuff. And we will be back with you guys in some more videos before you know it. But for now, I have been Maddie. Dolan. And we will video see ya. Peace out, guys. Bye. Dolan.